My name is Asal Yusuf and I am a student at Langley Fine Arts School and I'm also the creator of the documentary photo series Screenshots of Home. So at the beginning of quarantine, I was feeling a big creativity block. I wasn't motivated, I wasn't inspired, and I hardly ever picked up my camera. Um, but a little later in, into it, I got this idea that I wanted to photograph people all over the world in a way that I had never thought of before, over FaceTime. So I hadn't really got the ball moving until my photo teacher sent our class a few COVID-19 related prompts. And that's when I realized how important it is to use photography to capture these times. And so that's what really inspired me to get going. So I organized my first shoot with um, a dear friend of mine. And after that shoot, I just kind of got really pumped and excited and just started DMing people all over the world um, over Instagram. The process begins with me scaring out people on Instagram and then shooting them a text uh, and asking if they'd be willing to participate in this global project. And if they say yes, then we go ahead, plan, and then I get on the phone with mostly complete strangers. Um, but immediately we find ourselves having meaningful and intimate conversations where we both are vulnerable about our experiences and our difficulties in isolation. And then I ask them to give me a, a tour of their space so we can kind of scout out for the best lighting and for a place that most represents our time. And during the shoot, I guide my subjects through composition, lighting, framing, and positions, all just through my voice, which has been such an interesting experience, not being able to physically hold a camera and instead look at photography in a different way. Um, you know, I'm using people's phones and people's laptops and iPads as my camera. Um, so that has presented its challenges, but as a team, we work through it together um, to still create um, a piece of art. Um, no matter if it's a little bit bad quality, I think it's still telling a story, which is the most important part. Um, and the second biggest challenge has been the time difference. I never knew there was such thing as virtual jet lag. Um, I've been waking up at 1am, 4am, 6am, all throughout the night to have these photos, have these photo shoots with people all over the world. But I believe it was all a part of the process and something that I will remember from this experience. I hope to continue photographing people all over the world so I can get a wide variety of perspectives and experiences to really create a visual gallery of connection, of connectedness, of vulnerability, of shared humanity. And that's something that I have been creating, but I only hope to continue expanding it more. And that's something that I think I'll continue after COVID, is that I look at photography in a different way. I see that it truly has no boundaries and that I can create even without a physical camera in my hand. And that it is so much more than the equipment that you have, that it's about the story and the feelings that you capture. 